Hello, Mathalino students! Welcome to our Mathalino tutorial. Sa video na ito, ang pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol naman sa kung paano i-graph ang linear equation using the x and y intercepts. Bago tayo magsimula, alamin muna natin ang definitions ng mga term na x-intercept at saka yung y-intercept. x-intercept is where the graph of an equation meets the x-axis. On the other hand, y-intercept is where the graph of an equation meets the y-axis. For instance, we have here our Cartesian plane, and of course, the graph of our linear equation, the intersection of the graph of our linear equation, and the x-axis is the point 2, 0. And this point is what we call our x-intercept. On the other hand, the intersection of the graph of our linear equation and the y-axis is at the point 0, 4. And this point is what we call our y-intercept. We need to take note of the definitions of the x and y-intercept for us to graph our linear equations later correctly. But how do we find the x and the y-intercept in a given equation? So let us now discuss how to find the x and the y-intercept in a given linear equation. To solve for the x-intercept, all we have to do is substitute y is equal to 0 in the equation and solve for x. And the value of x that we obtain is what we call our x-intercept. And to solve for the y-intercept, substitute x is equal to 0 in the equation and solve for y. The value of y that we obtain is what we call our y-intercept. To understand better, magbigay tayo ng isang example. Solve for the x and the y-intercepts of 4x plus 3y is equal to 12. First, let us solve for the x-intercept. And again, in order to get the x-intercept, we use y is equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, mag-substitute lang tayo ng 0 sa y variable sa ating equation. So, we now have 4x plus 3 times 0, the y becomes 0, equals 12. Then, after substituting, we will just simplify so, 3 times 0 is 0, which means 4x na lang ang matitira sa ating left side of our equation. Then, to solve for the value of x, we need to divide 4 in both sides of our equation. What will remain is x equals 3. It means that 3 is our x-intercept. So, we now write x-intercept is 3, 0. Next, we find the y-intercept. Again, to find the y-intercept, we use x is equal to 0, which means isa substitute lang natin ang 0 sa x variable sa ating equation. So, it will now become 4 times 0, yung x ay napalitan na ng 0, plus 3y equals 12. I-simplify lang natin, 4 times 0 is 0, which means 3y na lang ang matitira sa ating left side ng ating equation. We have 3y is equal to 12. To solve for the value of y, we need to divide both sides of our equation by 3. And what will remain will be y equals 4, which means our y-intercept is 4. We can write y-intercept is the point 0, 4. 
Since alam na natin kung paano isolve ang x-intercept at y-intercept ng isang linear equation, we will now have examples of graphing linear equation using the x and the y-intercepts. So this is the third method of graphing linear equation. For our first example, we graph 4x plus y equals negative 2. Sa method na ito, hindi na natin kailangan pang i-transform ang ating given equation into the slope-intercept form. Kahit anong form pa ang given equation, pwede na natin isolve directly ang ating x at y-intercepts. So for the x-intercept, we use y is equal to 0. Substituting in our equation, we have 4x plus 0 equals negative 2. Simplifying, the left side of our equation will now have 4x which is equal to negative 2. And finally, we divide both sides of our equation by 4 in order for us to solve for x. So we will now have x is equal to negative 1 half. So we can now write an ordered pair for our x-intercept which is negative 1 half, 0. Next, for the y-intercept, we let x is equal to 0. Substituting, we have 4 times 0 plus y is equal to negative 2. Simplifying, 4 times 0 is 0. Then, copy plus y equals negative 2. And finally, 0 plus y is y. Therefore, y is equal to negative 2. We can now write the ordered pair for our y-intercept, which is 0, negative 2. After identifying our x and the y-intercepts, all we have to do is plot the following points, negative 1 half, 0, and 0, negative 2. So we can plot first the y-intercept, 0, negative 2 can be found here. And for our x-intercept, negative 1 half, 0 can be found here. At ang last natin gagawin, i-coconnect lang natin ang dalawang points using a straight line. And this blue line is now the graph of our linear equation for x plus y equals negative 2. Okay, let's now proceed to our second example. Graph the equation y is equal to 1 half x plus 3. So let us now solve for the x and the y intercept. For the x intercept, we let y is equal to 0. Substituting y is equal to 0 in our equation, that will be 0 equals 1 half x plus 3 we can transpose 1 half x to the left side of our equation. So we have negative 1 half x is equal to 3. Para masolve natin yung x, kailangan natin i-eliminate ang coefficient na negative 1 half. Pwede tayong mag-multiply to the whole equation by negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 1 half that would be equal to positive 1, which means we will only now have x in the left side of our equation. And we multiply also negative 2 to the right side, negative 2 times positive 3, that would be equal to negative 6. Therefore, we now have the equation x is equal to negative 6. We now write the x-intercept as negative 6, 0. For our y-intercept, we use x is equal to 0. Substituting in our equation, we will have y is equal to 1 half times 0 plus 3. Simplifying, 1 half times 0 is 0. So we have y is equal to 0 plus 3. And finally, 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. Hence, we have y is equal to 3. 
we now write the ordered pair for our y-intercept as 0, positive 3. After solving for the x and the y-intercepts, we now plot them on the Cartesian plane. First, we plot the x-intercept, negative 6, 0, and we know that this point is located here. And also, we plot our y-intercept, 0, positive 3. And we know also that this point is located here. After plotting the two points, pwede na natin silang i-connect using a straight line. And this blue line is now the graph of our linear equation y is equal to 1 half x plus 3. At hanggang dyan na lang ang ating math tutorial. Sana ay manatutunan kayo. Salamat po sa pakikinig.